Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the nasal septum. The nasal septum is a partition between the nasal cavities. So, this is the partition. between two nasal cavities okay and this is a muco osseo cartilaginous genus partition Okay, so we got the definition of the nasal septum, the partition between two nasal cavities, which is muco osseo cartilaginous in character. Okay, we got that. Now, what are what structures forms the nasal septum? So, structures. forming the nasal septum okay we have the vomar bone okay this is vomar number 1 vomar bone then is the bone, vomar bone. Then perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone. This is the perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone. Plate of ethmoid bone. You will get the septal cartilage here. This is the septal cartilage. We have part of the this is the number four. This is the perpendicular plate this is the the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone cribriform a part of it come plate of ethmoid bone okay you got that now we get we get the nasal spine of frontal bone here this is the frontal bone we have nasal spine here nasal spine of frontal bone nasal spine of frontal bone okay now again the septal process of the inferior nasal cartilage this is the septal process of septal process of inferior nasal cartilage okay so septal process of the inferior nasal cartilage we got the nasal spine of frontal bone we got the then we'll get the nasal crest of the nasal bone nasal crest 
of the nasal bone. Okay, this is a small contribution. Then we have to find out the rostrum of the sphenoid bone here. This is the we got here on seven here, eight here. This is the rostrum of the sphenoid bone. Rostrum that means anterior part of the sphenoid bone. Okay, we got the participating part of the nasal septum. So, Bhoma, perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone, it will form plate of ethmoid bone. Then we we'll get the nasal spine of the frontal bone here. Then we we'll get the septal process of the inferior nasal cartilage. The nasal crest of the nasal bone and rostrum of the sphenoid bone. These are the components for forming the nasal septum. A nasal septum is a midline structure, not perfectly midline, but it should be in the midline. Okay. The nasal septum, nasal septum is a midline structure but it is often deviated but it is often deviated okay all this is a midline structure we got that then we'll go to the borders of the nasal septum. Border, it is a plate. So it is a plate. So border, superior border, inferior border, anterior border, posterior border. Surface, two lateral surfaces. One, another one is here. Okay. So we got four borders. and two surfaces surfaces are the lateral two lateral surfaces borders are the superior border superior border inferior border anterior border posterior border the anterior border is covered by skin we call the anterior part as columella okay anterior border of the nasal septum the skinny cartilaginous cartilaginous anterior border of the nasal septum is called columella columella okay we got the anterior part now we we'll go to the most important part is the blood supply blood supply of the nasal septum it is very important because this is the site most of the common site of nose bleeding or epistaxis okay blood supply blood supply okay if you go to the arterial supply okay arteries if you go to the arteries then get the spenopalatine artery this is the spenopalatine artery okay these are the posterior ethmoidal artery posterior ethmoidal artery ethmoidal artery 
here is the anterior eighth model artery anterior eighth model artery okay artery artery eighth model artery this is the superior labial branch of the facial artery superior labial branch of branch of the facial artery okay you know that facial artery is a branch of external carotid artery spinal parton artery is a branch of maxillary artery superior labial branch is a branch of facial artery posterior medial artery and treatment artery these are branches of the ophthalmic artery ophthalmic artery is the branch of the internal carotid artery we got the arterial supply and we'll go to the veins vein will go to the facial vein and we we'll go to the erygoid plexus of vein plexus of vein okay you got that we will go to the arterial supply again with two important point one on the anterior inferior any part of the nasal septum anterior anterior inferior part of the nasal septum okay is called little's area and the arterial anastomosis in this area is called kaiselberg's plexus the arterial anastomosis anastomosis in the Little's area is called is called Kaiselbeck's plexus. Okay, so is called Kaiselbeck's plexus. Okay. It is called Kaiselbeck's plexus, and this is the most common site of nosebleed. Most common site of nosebleed, and we call it epistaxis. Many causes. It may be nose pricking. It may be trauma. It may be tumor. It may be due to infection. Okay, so there are many causes we we'll learn in our later videos. Okay, got the arterial supply and also touch the venous veins. Then we we'll go to the then we we'll go to the lymphatic drainage. Okay, lymphatic drainage. From the anterior part, we go to the submandibular lymph node. From this part, go to the submandibular lymph node. Submandibular lymph nodes. From the posterior superior part and posterior part, we go to the deep cervical lymph nodes. Deep cervical lymph node, lymph nodes. Okay. Okay. So we got that the lymphatic drainage. Then we'll go to the 
nerve supply. It is important to us. Nerve supply to the nasal septum. Nerve supply. Okay. Nerve supply for general sensation. The trigeminal nerve or fifth cranial nerve. For general sensation. For general sensation. That means pain, touch, temperature. For general sensation. Like pain, touch, temperature. By the trigeminal nerve. Like pain, touch, temperature, sensation by trigeminal nerve. Okay, we got the special olfactory sensation, special sensation that is carried by the olfactory nerve. Olfactory nerve, okay, olfactory nerve in the upper one third of the nasal septum plus the roof of the nose, upper one third of the nasal septum, okay, by means of olfactory nerve, okay, then we get the nerve supply from the pericopalatine ganglion like the nasopalatine nerve nasopalatine they will provide autonomic parasympathetic innervation to the to the mucosa and the nasal glands nasopalatine nerve and also posterior superior nasal branch anterior ethmoidal nerve posterior superior posterior superior nasal nerve okay they are coming from erigopalatine ganglia erigopalatine ganglia Okay, so carry the parasympathetic fiber as a secretomotor. Also carry sympathetic fibers. Okay, the parasympathetic fiber are passing through the trigger button ganglion. Sympathetic fiber is following the blood vessels. Okay, so we got that. And also get innervation from the anterior ethmoidal nerve. anterior ethmoidal nerve okay that is a part of trigeminal nerve okay the optimal division of trigeminal nerve in anterior ethmoidal nerve that is going to the tip of the nose as external nasal nerve so that's all about the anatomy of the nasal septum support my channel and subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.